Hello everyone, how are you doing? And welcome to another episode of Elder Living with Tosin. Alright, so this week we'll be making something different. And when I mean different is that, well, I just tried it for the first time. <laughs> so I just thought to um, share this um, with you. And um, this is something that is really good. That I would say it's really, really good. And um, this week we'll be trying out rosemary oil. Yes, you heard me right. Rosemary oil. So for those who don't know, I have my own garden where I grow herbs, vegetables, and spices. And I also have other plants. Yes. <laughs> so I, I'll call myself a plant mom because I love I love um gardening. And I have like over 30, 30 plants that I that I am keeping in my garden. So, but this week we'll be trying out rosemary oil. And the reason why I talked about my garden is that I grow my own rosemary leaves. Yes! <laughs> and I'm proud of that. So anyways, let's get into this video for the week. Okay, so to make our rosemary oil, we'll be needing a few items that we can create this magic. So first of all, you need olive oil or coconut oil, depending on your preference. And then you also need um, fresh herbs. That's, that's the rosemary itself. So you can get the fresh, fresh ones or you can get the dried ones, depending on your preference. So what I did in this, um, in, for this episode is that I had to buy some from Simply Grains. So you can check them out on Instagram. So I got this one that I'll be using in this video from Simply Greens. Yes, I grow my own rosemaries, but I looked at my my plant and I was like, nah, I'm not going to try with my plant yet because I need it to still grow. Okay, so let's just get straight into the video. And I'll be showing you how to make uh, your own rosemary oil. So the first thing you need to do is to pluck the leaves from the stick. So once you're done plucking the leaves, make sure that you wash them. And remember, we are making rosemary oil. So make sure that you wash your leaves so that you can get out the dirt and sand it that you find in your leaves. So the next step is to add a pan on the fire and use any oil of your choice. Remember I talked about using any oil that you want, either olive oil or coconut oil. So in this video, I'll be using olive oil. So once you have the contents on fire, make sure that you cook on low heat for at least two hours. And the reason is because you need to you know, extract the rosemary you know, infused into the oil and all. So you need to cook on low heat. So while we let our rosemary oil cook for some hours, let's just talk about the usefulness of rosemary leaves. Okay, so before this video, I never, I never had an idea of the value that I had in my garden, you know, until I discovered the benefits of rosemary herbs. So number one, it helps you improve your mood and memory. Wow. <laughs> you know for for those who have mood swings and for those who have uh, memory loss this herb is really good for you if you can drink it as tea you know uh, this would also help your mood and memory number two it helps to lower blood sugar and um, also it also helps to it also helps you sleep well you know and this is one thing I also discovered about the rosemary herbs like the same way I'm sharing this information with you, I never had an idea that this herb or this leaves can actually help you sleep well. So if you're finding it very difficult to sleep, this is one herb you should plant in your garden today. I would advise anyone who is watching to plant the rosemary leaves in their garden. 
Also note that the rosemary is rich in nutrients such as iron, calcium, and vitamins. Some of the usefulness of rosemary oil is that number one, it, will, it can serve as a face oil. Number two, it will help stimulate cell renewal. Number three, um, it's going to help with the dandruff. So if you have dandruff just like me, this oil is going to work. So of course, I'm going to try it out. Hence why I'm doing this video. So now our rosemary oil is ready. So we're going to let it cool down for some hours and then we strain it and get the content so to strain our oil we'll be using a jar also with a strainer and a clean cloth to sieve our oil So make sure you get the content out of the pan into your strainer and squeeze, 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 squeeze until you get all the oil out. So guys, this is what it looks like to create your own rosemary oil. You can use this for your hair, you can use this for your face, and it also works for the skin. Thank you all for watching this episode. Please do not forget to like, watch, subscribe, and also share this content. See you guys in the next video.